Inside the booth, everybody, along with Bill Schroeder and Sophia Minner, Jeff Levering with you. And, Rock, the pitching has been so good for the Brewers over the last three ball games, and really just one inning. It was the ninth last night where it all kind of fell apart, but you can't forget what they did for those 27 innings Yeah, prior. last two wins for the Brewers, 19 to nothing and 1 to nothing. The operable statistic right there, zero. I mean, the Brewers pitching staff, not just the starters, but the bullpen as well, have been on point. You know, Corbin Burns, the last game against the Tigers, Woodruff, a couple of nights ago, and Brent Suter and the rest of the bullpen. Outstanding work. Ten hits, only two walks. Check out the strikeout. 39 punch outs and the OPS only a little bit under 400. So uh, the Brewer pitching staff has certainly done their part. The defense has been terrific all season long. Now it's up for the offense to start picking those guys up. And, uh, you know, and in the last two weeks of the season, that's going to be important. Well, the Brewers are going to look for a good start from Adrian Hauser today. It's been a while since he has started and really performed well for the Brewers. And for more on that, we'll check in with Sophia Miller. Thanks, guys, for Adrian Hauser, his ninth start of the season, his second coming against the Chicago Cubs. He pitched against them at Wrigley Field earlier this year, took a no decision, five innings, three earned runs, five strikeouts for him. And so for Hauser, it's been a story of just one big inning. He got off to such a great start to the season in his first two starts. He's able to go 1-0, and allowed just one earned run, had nine strikeouts there. But you see how he's fared over his last six. He has not won since August 5th against the Chicago White Sox. ERA over seven. And the opponent average 326 as well. But he's going to continue to rely on that two seam fastball for success. You know, it's no secret that uh, sinker is my best pitch, and I love to use it. So, uh, you know, just being able to disguise that and hide it more and be able to use it in certain counts and in different. Zipper, hoping to finish his season series 500 against the Brewers, they would need a win here this afternoon. Starting lineup for the Cubs brought to you by Hyundai. They loaded up with left handers against Adrian Hauser, Hap, Rizzo, Contreras, Schwarber, Baez, and Hayward. Hayward had the big home run in last night's game. Kipnis makes his first start, and Victor Caratini does the catching with David Bodie over at third base. And Adrian Hauser trying to pick things up, Rock. It's been a tough go for him over his last six starts. Yeah, he was really good his first two starts. A .75 earned run average in his first two. Last six, over seven. So he's looking to turn things around. Last time out, the Tigers beat him. Four and two-thirds for Adrian. Four hits, five runs. Retired the first eight, then fell into some trouble. The defense for the Brewers, they have the best defense internationally as far as fielding percentage goes. Tied for first, fewest errors. The Brewers open up with that shift. With Orlando RC in shallow right. And Eric Sogard making a start over at third base. And Hauser coming right after Ian Happ. A couple of fastballs and in that mid to upper ninth. And Craig Council's Hyundai batting order today. It's Garcia Yelich Hira Vogelback moves into the number four spot. Jerko is in the five spot today. No Ryan Braun in the starting lineup. After having a good series, driving in all the runs against Chicago, he gets the day off. Gamble back in there. And Jacob Nottingham catching for the crew again. As you see, Alec Mills making his ninth start. Had a good appearance against the Brewers until Yelich took him deep in the sixth inning in August. Yeah, it took a loss against Milwaukee at Wrigley Field back on August 14th. Last time out, really good. A win against the Reds. Six innings, four hits, no runs for Mills. Not a hard thrower. He's got a good chance.